We need to talk. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host Cobra Trading. If you've been to the channel before, you know that I normally do a video every day and for this last week, well, I've been slacking. I've been doing a very important project for some friends in the space that has been taking up a lot of my time. So once I get that completed, probably by the end of this weekend, I'll be back to my normal schedule. But a couple big announcements uh, for myself and the channel. One, I'm going to be continuing with some new tutorials, okay? So if you haven't seen any of my tutorials, make sure that you go back, watch those. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you smash the like and subscribe button. So here's what I'm thinking about doing. You guys have been awesome. You guys have been giving me fantastic feedback. And what I wanna do is have you guys go into the comment section below. Let me know what topics you guys wanna see a video on, whether it's an indicator, whether it's a trading strategy, something. Let me know some stuff in the comments below that you guys want to see more of or that you haven't seen yet and that I may have missed that you guys actually wanna see. By the way, that was pretty much the talk. Another announcement is from now on, I'm gonna be shooting all my videos in 4K. I wanna give you guys the best quality content possible and I was actually in the process of upgrading my camera. We should be moving pretty nicely from here. I know you guys wanna talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's breaking out of the triangle. Let's not get too excited yet, okay? Let's dive right into the charts and I'm gonna show you what exactly is going on. All right, here we are on the weekly chart. I'm gonna go through this stuff rather quickly. It was too long for me to do in one of my 90 second analysis videos. And I know, again, I'm sorry, I apologize. I've been slacking on those as well. For those of you that are in my Telegram channel, um, I am going to be for the rest of the week doing updates on liquidation levels and stuff since we did just get finally a move. So if you guys haven't been in my Telegram channel, make sure that you check out that link in the description that is free and I normally do updated liquidation levels and analysis that I don't publicly post on my Twitter on a fairly regular basis. Before I get into this, I wanna let you guys all know, um, BitMEX is probably not gonna be doing so hot for now at least, especially with uh, charting on TradingView, I'm going to be switching over to uh, just Bybit. That's where I trade anyway. So I'm gonna be using that chart from now on just as a heads up. This is the Bybit chart. So looking at the weekly here, we did have very long wicks to the downside, right? And the wicks kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And uh, that signifies that the bulls uh, were prepared to be buying at steadily higher and higher prices. Now, finally, uh, we're tapping our resistance up here at about 10,925. You can see that just from exactly where the price line is. It's lining up perfectly with all of these wicks and stuff over here and as well as far back as 2019, okay? So taking a look at our indicators, it looks like our MACD is gonna be flipping over soon. Uh, we're getting a decrease in bearish momentum, which is a very good thing, especially on the weekly chart. We actually never ended up uh, diving below that, that really important like 53 or 56 mark or whatever it is on our RSI on the weekly, which is a very, very good thing. Uh, as soon as that happens, normally it means that we're going to experience a prolonged bear run. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is I've got this crazy thing drawn on my, uh, on my screen here. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with more advanced technical analysis, this is a harmonic pattern. Harmonic patterns are, are very Fibonacci ratio based. And normally they're a very strong indication on higher timeframes of where price is going to be going if three legs have successfully completed within 10% of uh, the requirements of the FIB levels that they're supposed to be at. So this is called a Gartley pattern. This is the first one that I've seen in probably uh, over a year that is that exact in terms of the measurements. Um, so this is one scenario where we're coming up for a D leg right now. Uh, that would bring us up to about 11,600. Uh, if we end up seeing a huge rally and we go past that, this could also turn into what's called a crab pattern and come all the way up here to, yeah, about, about up here, uh, which would basically line up perfectly with my range high. And this would be known as a crab pattern. So, uh, this would be bullish in the midterm, and then once this completes, normally you end up seeing a 50% retracement uh, of C to D. So if we were to whip out 
our fib retracement here and just measure from here to here, which is where I think it'll end. Uh, that would uh, basically have us be retesting uh, the 11,000 to 11,300 range after this completes for a high of about 13K. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that. That's just something uh, that I noticed recently and the measurements are just really, really too perfect to ignore. So there is that. On the daily chart, we are seeing some bullish momentum on our MACD. We're getting a lot of volume. It's more evident on the smaller time frames, which we'll get to in just a minute. But all in all, the indicators are looking good. We're getting higher lows here on our RSI. We're getting higher lows here on our MACD. So no divergence that's very noticeable right now. And then if we actually turn on our Ichimoku cloud here, you can see that we're actually getting a break above our cloud on the daily chart. This is something that we have been waiting for and something that I've been watching for for a very, very long time. Uh, I mentioned in a lot of previous videos that if we were going to close below our cloud here, uh, then we would definitely be retesting our 200 EMA at least and potentially falling below that if this pennant, uh, symmetrical triangle, whatever, was to break down to the bearish side. Now, we don't have confirmation of a complete uh, bullish breakout yet because this candle is not closed. This could very well be a fake out and uh, we could be re-entering, uh, you know, into that pattern or whatever. So that's something else that I'm going to be taking a very, very close watch of uh, here shortly. But if we turn this off and we take a look at uh, everything that we've got drawn here, uh, we've got our range low here. We've got our range high here. Basically, what we're doing right now is we're coming up to test this range median line right at about 11,100. So uh, that is a good sign, right? Uh, I am long now. However, I, I caught this at about 10,600 and went long from there anticipating a break of our triangle. So the triangle that is in question here, I have drawn here on our four hour chart for detail. I don't really need to explain that. Um, now we're getting potentially right now, well, this one candle closed on the four hour. So we did just put in our first higher high here. So if this trend doesn't continue and we don't see closes above 11,000, which is what I would like to see, if we don't get that, uh, I would be expecting some kind of retracement from this move. And um, that could be measured from here. It could be measured from here. Um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, questions about that right now because this move is is still in progress. But if we were measuring from here, our, our golden pocket uh, would be lining up uh, with about the $10,700 level. I think that that's possible. But normally off of our first initial move, normally we see something that's closer to the 382, which would be this uh, this minor support here at our last candle. Uh, lower high right here, which is right around 10,800. Right now, this move is still in progress. You can see down here, I was talking about volume. We had a breakout with significant volume here on a medium time frame. That's exactly what you want to see. Normally, these patterns are considered invalid if the pattern doesn't see a breakout or reversal uh, within the first two thirds of the pattern. So uh, that's something that I actually didn't mention uh, in my patterns video is that these patterns normally tend to get weaker and weaker and you'll get a weaker and weaker breakout as uh, the longer time passes. So if you start getting to the very tippy tip of these patterns, normally you'll just end up going through it sideways um, or you'll end up having a weak breakout. So it is possible that this is all we get right here. Uh, this also lines up with a big news event that we had today um, that, you know, Jack Dorsey and, and Square and stuff, uh, they went in. Uh, to Bitcoin with 1% of their holdings, which is equivalent to $50 million. Um, so a lot of people are buying into that news. If we take our Ichimoku and take everything else off the screen, we had a very, very solid breakout of our 200 EMA. Now, just keep in mind that the last time that this happened, it was a fake out. We had a fake out here. We had a fake out here. We had a fake out here. Um, and then here, it, it, was a, it was a successful breakthrough and we used it as support. Um, so I wouldn't call these fake outs because the support ended up just breaking down. But uh, the last one, two, three, four times that we've broken above this 200 EMA, it has been a fake out. So we do really need some continued 
bullish momentum here. Even on our four hour chart, the Ichimoku cloud is flat. It's basically the cloud itself is physically non-existent because the price action has been so flat for so long. And uh, we really need to get some more momentum going with this. Coming down to a one hour chart, you can start to see that uh, the, the volume obviously is dying off from that initial pump. Uh, however, we're getting a lot of support uh, in these levels here, which is right around uh, this previous support level here, which lines up with our triangle that we broke out of. So right around 10,875 ish, uh, which is good. So, you know, I think that if we can form a new base around there about 10,800, but no lower, uh, we should be pretty much OK in the midterm. So if I go ahead and take that off and we look at our Ichimoku cloud here, you can see again still because of the sideways momentum that we've been experiencing for so long, we've just had all of these indicators just right on top of each other. Um, so it just really, really indecisive right now. We're going to have to let price action keep rolling for a while until uh, these indicators aren't, you know, stacked right on top of each other on these lower time frames. So uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to get into today, guys. Uh, seeing that we do have a bullish break so far of our cloud here on the daily chart is a very, very, very good thing. Normally, this top of this cloud is very, very strong resistance. So breaking through here and having a successful daily close in the next uh, basically seven hours here would be a very, very good sign. So that's definitely something that I'm looking for so that we can push up to our median line, which is actually right on top of our key Jensen line. So I think that that would probably end up being uh, the next area that I'm looking at. And again, lots of confluence there because that level is, you guessed it, right around 11,100. All right, guys, thank you for staying with me today. I hope that that analysis kind of clears up some things, just kind of gives you an idea of what to expect in case we experience some kind of uh, pullback. Don't be freaking out. I expect to pull back uh, to 10,800 uh, once we start losing bullish steam here. And uh, that's probably where we're going to end up landing and pretty much make that our new base. I would love to see a close above 11,000 today. If we do close above 11,000 today, um, I'm definitely uh, bullish, especially in the midterm breaking out of that triangle if we can get more momentum into the market. So with all that said, make sure that you smash the like and subscribe button. Make sure that you are tuned in with the notifications on so you don't miss any of my analysis or any of my tutorials, which I'm going to be starting again next week. So check out all that stuff in the description below. Links to Telegram. Um, Twitter, Medium, where I write articles, all that good stuff down in the description below. So with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all on Monday.